at Annie. She is coloring some grids for her project. Why not learn proper and improper fractions with her? Let's begin with proper fractions. Look, Annie has colored some portions of the two grids. In the first grid, she has colored two parts of the grid out of six. Next to it, she has written the fraction two sixth. In the second grid, she colored three parts of the grid out of six. Next to it, she has written the fraction three sixth. We can obtain the total portion colored in both the grids by adding the fractions. So, here as the denominators are same, we add only the numerators and get the answer as 5 upon 6. Here in the fraction obtained, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So, we say that 5 upon 6 is a proper fraction. Remember, whenever the numerator is less than the denominator, it is called as a proper fraction. Now, let's understand improper fractions. Look, Annie has two more grids. In the first one, she has colored all the four parts of the grid. That is, she has colored the entire grid. We can write it in fraction as 4 upon 4. In the second grid, she colored one part of the grid out of four, that is one fourth. To find the total colored parts, we again add the fractions. So, here again as the denominators are same, we add the numerators and get the answer as five upon four. Here, look at the numerator. It is greater than the denominator. So, we say that 5 upon 4 is an improper fraction. Remember, whenever the numerator is greater than the denominator, it is called as an improper fraction. Look at these fractions. Let us identify the proper and improper fractions. These fractions have numerators smaller than the denominators. Hence, they are proper fractions. And the remaining fractions have their numerators greater than the denominators. And so they are improper fractions. Look, Annie completed her colouring and we are learning. Hope you had fun.